Question 4. Edward can correctly identify 20% of types of wildflowers. He studies some books to see if he can improve how often he can correctly identify types of wildflowers. He collects a random sample of 10 types of wildflower in order to test whether or not he has improved. Part A1. Write suitable hypothesis for this test. We are looking that Edward can correctly identify 20% of types of wildflower. So 20% is the probability of a correct identification. The null hypothesis, H0, is what happens if things remain the same, and that is P equals 0.2. The probability remains at 20%. We're looking to see if he can improve upon this value of p equals 0.2. So this is a one-tail test. The alternative is that he can improve upon it. The alternative hypothesis H1 is that p is greater than 0.2. A part 2. We're looking for a suitable test statistic that he could use. Well, he has taken a random sample of 10 types of wildflower to test whether or not he's improved. So the test statistic is the number of times he correctly identifies a type of wildflower from the 10 types of wildflower. Part B, using a 5% level of significance, find the critical region for this test. We need to find the number C, that the probability that X is greater than equal to this value C will be less than 5%. X will be the binomial distribution where N is 10 and P is equal to 0.2. So let's look at our class with calculator to work this out. Press menu 7 and we will get this display here. But it talks about a binomial probability distribution. We want the cumulative distribution function. So if we scroll down, we get this distribution and we've got the binomial cumulative distribution. So press 1 to get the binomial CD. Then choose variable, which is 2. We will get a display like this. This one has an old binomial calculation already in. We want to find the probability that x is less than or equal to. Let's choose a value because we don't know the number. So let's choose 3. So the calculator will look up x is less than or equal to 3. If we put in x as 3, n was 10, and p was 0 0.2. So if you feed that into your calculator and press equals gives you 0 0.8791. But we want the probability x is greater or equal to a value. The probability of x is greater or equal to 4 is 1 minus the probability of x is less than or equal to 3. So the probability that x is greater or equal to 4 is equal to 0 0.1209. So the probability that x is greater or equal to 4 is 0 0.1209 about 12%, but we're looking for something 5% or less. So let's just try a new value here. So if we look at the probability if x is less than or equal to 4, so if we access the binomial CD again on the class whiz and feed in x is 4, n is 10 again, p is 0 0.2 again, and press equals, we'll find that the probability that x 
is less than or equal to 4 is 0 0.9672. So we've got that answer, the probability that x is greater than or equal to 5 is 1 minus the probability of x is less than or equal to 4, which is 1 minus 0 0.9672, which is 0 0.0328, about 3%. So this is less than the 5%, which is what we require. So our critical value is the probability that x is greater than or equal to 5. Part C. State the probability of a type 1 error for this test and explain what is meant in this context. A type 1 error is when H0 is true and a wrong conclusion is made. The wrong conclusion would be rejecting H0 and accepting H1. To accept H1, we are in the critical region, the probability X is greater or equal to 5. We know this is 0 0.0328 from part B. So this is our answer. This means it is the probability of concluding Edward has improved his ability to correctly identify wildflowers when in fact he has not. Part D. Edward correctly identifies four of the ten types of wildflowers he collected. What conclusion should Edward reach? Well, the critical region was x was greater or equal to 5. But x is just 4 here, which is not in the critical region. So there is no reason to reject the null hypothesis so there is insufficient evidence to conclude that Edward has improved his ability to correctly identify wildflowers. It would be interesting to look at calculating a type 2 error which wasn't asked for within this question. A type 2 error is when the null hypothesis is false and the wrong conclusion is made. You can only answer a question like this if we know what this improved probability was. Let us assume that we know the improved probability is P is 0 0.3. If we make a wrong conclusion, we accept the null hypothesis H0, so our observed value is not in the critical region. The critical region is the probability that x is greater or equal to 5. Not in the critical region is x is less than or equal to 4. So for a type 2 error, we need to find the probability that x is less than or equal to 4 when p is equal to 0.3. So if we go to the class whiz and get the binomial cumulative distribution, feed in that x is equal to 4 because we want 4 or less, n is 10, and p is our new probability 0.3. So if we feed that data in and press E, we find the probability that x is less than or equal to 4 is 0.8497. And this is a type 2 error. Note this is a very high probability.